Hello everyone, thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a string, a broken string on a pole shade. String snapped. These are old blinds, old Hunter Douglas blinds that came with my house. I don't want to replace the blind. It's probably a hundred bucks and then it'll be mismatched and then that starts the process of me having to replace all the blinds, which is a lot of money. Um, it's easy to do. I took apart the top, looked at the mechanism. The hardest part was trying to match up a string and I... Uh, <clears throat> found that kite string is a perfect match. Had some in the garage, the diameter is right, and kite string's pretty strong. So um, all you need is some kite string, a screwdriver, some scissors, and about 10 minutes. Pretty easy process, it'll save you some money. Um, let's jump right in, let's get these blinds down and take them apart. With a Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna wanna loosen the brackets holding the blind in place. They are behind the blind. This particular blind has three brackets. And once loosened, if you lift up on the blind, it easily comes down out of place. From there, if you pull out the bottom cover at the bottom of the blind, holding the track into place, that'll allow you to slide the track back, exposing the broken string at the bottom of the unit. And you can pull the string to remove it. And then at the top, you're going to have to remove that mechanism. Might take a little force, but it should come out with relative ease. And that track will slide back as well, exposing the top hole. Here I'm just untying the, uh, the strings. They were tied in the middle. I need some needle nose pliers to get that loose to free the main strings. Now I'm going to feed the new string, the kite string, through the hole where it was broken. If you hold them together, it should thread right through relatively easy. Maybe you'll have to fan it out a little if that doesn't work, but in my case it went through with ease. Now you have to feed that string through the, the primary mechanism. Just put it through the hole, and there's also a silver piece, the piece that locks the strings into place on the other side. And you should be able to feed the string through there. And pull the string tight, and align it into the track that'll be apparent when you look at the top, where they're supposed to, to fit. Now you can slide that top track back over and reinsert the main operating mechanism. Make sure all the strings are staying in place. From there, if you flip the blind back over, you can cut the string burning it just to make sure it doesn't fray. And then there was a bead that will keep the string from pulling back through. I'm going to tie a knot at the end of that, which will secure the string in place. When I pull it tight, back through the top mechanism. Now you can slide the track back over and reinsert the track cap. And we're almost done, but not quite yet. First we need to reinstall the blind before adjusting the string's length. Just how you lift it up to put it to take it off. You're going to approach it with the same angle to pop it back on. And then using a Phillips head screwdriver, retighten the brackets that hold it into place, the mounting brackets. And once secure, you need to adjust the strings. 
by kind of pulling on each one individually to get it nice and level. Once it's level, you'll know the proper length of the strings. This particular blind had three strings running through it. So there we go. Now I've got it level. I'll pull it back to the top and then cut our new string to the proper length. And again, I'll burn it a little, the new string, just to keep it from fraying, be a little bit more secure long term. But now we can tie that grouping of strings together and reattach the extension string. for easier usage. The extension string is the string I removed earlier with the needle nose pliers. And once that's on, we'll give it a couple tugs, make sure it's working well, and that blind is repaired. All right. There you have it. <clears throat> uh, repairing a pull string light filter blind. Uh, get a lot more life out of this blind and saves me having to replace a lot of the other blinds in my house or having to start that process. Really easy to do. With filming, it probably took me 10 minutes. I think without it, it'd probably only take about five. If anything seemed confusing in there, as soon as you start to take it apart and take a look at it, it'll make sense. Don't be intimidated by it. Super easy project that anybody could do. Totally worth saving for a blind this size. This is at, at least $100, at least. But uh, well worth the, uh, the $5 in kite string or $3 in kite string or whatever. I think I got that on Amazon uh, to save me $100. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, click the like button in the lower right-hand corner. Costs you nothing. Uh, it would mean the world to me. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you like my channel. Thank you.